that little, little naked pop. What's up? Uh. Now I'm hot, they wanna stop. What? The f you uh. wanna taste? Goofy. Break the bank or get the f up out my face. Period. Little, little naked pop. pop, pop. What's up? If he broke, then we can't talk. Nope. What's up? It's your girl, Shot the Greatest, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. Today, as you guys can see by the title, your girl is going to be telling you guys how to become a successful YouTuber. This is not clickbait. This is not false information. This is all true facts, lived and learned facts. I go by Shot the Greatest. I am a YouTuber, a personality. I used to dance, upcoming actress, and um, a business owner. So, but I recently became a business owner in 2019. I hear a lot of people talk every day, like, oh my God, like YouTube, I really wanna do YouTube. I heard you can make this much about amount of money off YouTube. I heard you can do this if you're doing YouTube and different, you know, different things like that. So I know a lot of millennium people or um, young people, young teenagers, young adults, are really trying to get in the YouTube thing, but don't know where to start. Like I always say, like, if I talk about something, it's because I know what I'm talking about. I'm not about to just tell y'all just because it sounds good or, you know, I think this is what you're supposed to do. Nah, this is 100% fact. YouTube is actually what I do for a living, so it sounds good, right? So all I gotta do is post videos consistently on Instagram and YouTube in order for my page and my business to keep going, all I have to do is post. How easy does that sound, right? Easier said than done, so I can tell you that right now. My car off YouTube, I started my business off YouTube, and um, I got my beautiful crib, you know what I'm saying, from doing YouTube. Oh my God, child, like, how do you become a successful YouTuber, yada, yada, yada. But let me tell y'all something. It was not easy, and half of the stuff I'm about to tell y'all now, y'all gonna be like, all right, bet. But when y'all start doing it, y'all gonna be like, oh, shit, like what's really going on let's get right into it. i'm not really gonna um you know talk you guys's head off and um i actually wrote down a couple of pointers here um a little over three months ago i wrote these pointers down for you guys and as i was living you know what i'm saying through my youtube life or whatever i kind of just was adding more um information so i can help you guys with and let you guys know the ins and outs as far as everything goes tips on how to be a successful youtuber number one figure out a niche and what people want to see when i say figure out a niche i'm basically saying find out something that you will want to do for a very long time that people like seeing and i know you know what i'm saying some people have followers now whether it's family members whether it's friends i know you guys have some type of following whether it's 100 followers 50 followers, 30 followers. I know you guys maybe like posted something, like a video or something, and got like more hits than usual off of it or something like that, whether it's a thousand views, 500 views, 200 views, views is views, okay? That's what a niche is called. A niche is something that majority of your following base likes. Like I said, whatever, whether it's your family, whether it's your friends, just something that did really, really good on your page. Whether it was rapping, whether it was singing, whether it was um, comedy, whether it was just you talking, playing around. Whatever did a lot of views or more views or hits than usual on your page, that's basically what a niche is. What, what most of your following like to see. So, and how you will find your niche is dipping and dabbing into different things like like i said whether it's singing whether it's dancing whether it's doing a skit whether it's just talking having a normal conversation to your supporters or your fans or your followers well, not fans but even if you don't know don't stop there like dang i don't know what's supposed or i don't know what people want to see ask yourself what do you like to see on your page what do you like to see on your timeline that will that you will like personally or comment on personally you feel me and try to recreate it i'm not saying copy you don't want to copy it's cool to be inspired but don't copy two film yourself on your phone explaining something to see how you articulate so when i say you know what i'm saying see how you articulate i'm basically saying sit your phone down whether it's a video camera a video phone anything sit your phone down and just talk about something Maybe talk about, I don't know, water, right? See, you see a water bottle in front of you. Like, for instance, when I say see how you articulate, just see how you talk about it. Like, see how your words come out fluently. So, when somebody else watches you, they understand it. Like, okay, like, I really like this person. Like, when they talk, I understand every word they say. I understand what they're talking about. I understand what the topic is on. 
Because if you don't know how to articulate, I'm telling you, nobody's going to watch, watch your stuff. Like, have y'all ever seen a video of somebody trying to talk and explain something and you kind of just lose interest, like, quick, like, really fast? Where you just be like, mm, I don't know what he's talking about. Anyways, scroll, scroll, scroll. I know a lot of y'all seen people post something like that that you was not interested in two seconds in. That's the biggest, biggest way you're going to fail on YouTube. You really have to know how to articulate. You got to know how to be um, animated when you discuss something. That's very important. Like, for instance, like I said, you could talk about this water bottle. I could say right now, this is a water bottle. I drank it earlier. It was really tasty. I had better water. Like, I think I like Fiji better. Smart water is good too. As well as Aquafina. Purified water, I feel like it's kind of like a knockoff of all the waters. Even though water is water, but I'd rather not. Like, if somebody asked me if I wanted Fiji or purified water, I would say Fiji because it's just more tasty and it just has that spark into it. Boom. Y'all see that right there? How y'all was listening and y'all was interested and I, all I did was just talk about some fucking water. Sit your camera down and see how you articulate because how you talk and explain something is going to be based off really majority of your following base, majority of your videos, majority of the chances it's going to go viral. It's all about how you articulate. You guys got to learn how to talk without seeming shy, without somebody like, hmm, like, what did she say? Like, I got to start it over because I don't even understand what she's saying or without saying like, Mm, this boring. I don't really want to watch this girl no more. She's not very interesting. So, or this boy, whatever. <laughs> Seeing how you articulate is very important if you want to get into YouTube. Three, figure out what kind of vibe you want for your channel. So when I say what kind of vibe you want for your channel, basically what you want to showcase or the type of person you want to be portrayed as. So, for instance, I could tell you right now, I want to be portrayed as the funny chocolate girl that's always like sassy not sassy but business minded more like don't give a fuck what nobody got to say about me because at the end of the day i'm gonna still keep doing what i'm doing i want to be, be portrayed as a good girl and when i say good girl being portrayed as a good girl is basically saying i don't want nobody thinking i'm mad or anything like that's why like you know what i'm saying i wouldn't do things on camera like smoke drink i just i just don't like being that's not what i want to portray to you guys what i want to portray to you guys is energetic you know what i'm saying cool vibe laid back natural energy just figure out what you want to be portrayed as what do you want to serve the people the guy or the girl that reminds you of another youtuber that's big no you want to give off your own vibes your own lane you know what i'm saying so it can differentiate you from other people that's doing the same thing as you youtube you know four Figure out how your personality separates from other YouTubers. So kind of like what I just said, what, differenti what differentiates you from other YouTubers or people that's doing the same thing as you. So um, when I say figure out how your personality separates from other YouTubers, what makes you, what makes you different? You get what I'm saying? Is it you have colorful eyes? Is it you have really nice coarse hair? Is it you have a nice athletic body because you do sports? Like just figure out what makes you different and milk it so when i say milk it figure out what people will want to see like you know how to do hair people want to see that you get what i'm saying like yes a lot of people do hair but you're you so your work may be different from other people on youtube that does hair you get what i'm saying so figure out what makes you different you know what i'm saying is it your accent because of your background or where you're from is it the story that you have to tell because what you what you've been through in your past so you want to let the world know what you've been through and what separates you from other people in this world like what is going to separate you from other people that's doing the same thing as you because let me tell you something if you just like any other youtuber you're just gonna look at as Oh yeah, well, if I don't watch her videos, I'm going to watch her videos because... Or if I don't watch his video, I'm going to watch his video because they kind of remind me of the same people. Or they kind of remind me of the same person. Or they remind me of each other. So, if one YouTuber is off YouTube, I'm just going to watch this other one because they kind of do the same thing. You get what I'm saying? Like, for instance, in no shade to the couples out there, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they're doing their thing. Honestly, um, a lot of... Like, for instance, I have cousins that watches YouTube. And a lot of time when they're at my house chilling, watching YouTube on my TV, they always be like, oh, um, this person, this couple did this prank, but I want to watch the other people prank because, you know, I, but I want to watch the other couple prank because they prank might be better. 
I literally heard that come out the mouth like, oh, I want to watch this couple because I think this couple is better or this couple not that funny than the other couple. They will start comparing you to somebody that's doing the same thing as you. You get what I'm saying? So, um, you want to figure out how your content will separate from other people's content. Like I said, is it how you talk? Is it your accent? Is it how you explain things? Are you more funnier than others? Are you more down to earth than others like you know what i'm saying it's a lot and like i said not to downplay couples but a lot of these couples are doing the exact same thing and that's why i don't really watch couple channels because for one i don't watch couple channels because i'm not a couple you get what i'm saying so if i'm gonna watch somebody i'm gonna watch somebody that's solo dolo like me that's flourishing or that's already better than me as far as views goes as far as viral viralness goes you get what i'm saying i'm gonna watch somebody that levels up to my content because if i watch another category of content like i say a couple channel it's going to kind of mess up my craft it's going to kind of be like you're not a couple but guess what i'm gonna probably just try to force myself to be with somebody just so i can do this video like this couple over here because i saw this video and i really liked it you get what i'm saying so it's kind of like what is going to differentiate you from other people's content because you do not want to be in the same category because that's also going to mess you up and that's also how you want to fail on youtube because you're just like everybody else you got to see you know what i'm saying how your content will differentiate from others number five learn how to be animated when you articulate so when i say learn how to be animated i'm basically saying like i said before you got to learn how to talk with emotion expression because if you're talking like this um what's up y'all so today i'm going to be doing a prank and um i'm super excited i can't wait because i'm black girl or boy we getting off your video because what like your debbie downer is like where's the expression like why do i want to watch her video if you're just hella chill like today i'm going to be doing a video for you guys like where's the confidence where's the champagne wham like where's the you know what i'm saying the umph in your chest like why are you just so chill and calm you're making me sleepy you feel me that's why when y'all hear me talk i talk loud i talk with my hands i talk with my shoulders what's goody in a hoodie what's up guys your girl shot the greatest today we're going to be watching my video okay period don't play with me like you got to learn how to talk with emotion you know what i'm saying with life you know what i'm saying like because if you're just talking hella calm and unanimated like you're probably not going to get a lot of views nobody's going to watch your shit it can be the best video in the world but because your vibe is just boring as nobody's gonna want to watch it talk with confidence they're gonna talk with their head up high they're gonna talk with their chest out shoulders back they're gonna talk like they know what they're talking about because if you just you know what i'm saying unsure on how you're you know what i'm saying how you want to come off people are going to you know what i'm saying peep that through the video and they're not going to watch your stuff so learn how to be animated when you articulate number six invest in an hd camera and computer preferably a macbook and preferably a canon g7x and i'm going to put the name um down below um this is the the canon g7x is actually what a lot of youtubers use but the camera i used when i first started maybe two years ago was the sony a5100 i'm gonna put that right here it was very affordable it was good for what it was good for as far as videos and everything way cheaper i think this camera was about 800 dollars and the sony a5100 was about 500 dollars. so a lot cheaper not a lot cheaper a couple hundred dollars cheaper than this camera right here and um the um the difference between them both is this camera is much smaller so i can put it in my pocket i can put it in my purse different things like that um this camera is touch screen as well um this camera to me um the quality is better to a certain extent even though both of the quality is pretty damn good but um i like this quality best because it adjusts to the lighting on its own my sony a5100 like if it's dark lighting like for instance the only thing on is my kitchen light and my dining room light all the other lights is off in the house but it doesn't i mean it probably do look like that but it looks more lighter like it's more lights on because this camera adjusts on its own to the lighting versus the other one if i'm in a dark room it won't adjust this camera um adjusts to its lighting on its own and it's touch screen and it's much smaller for like pranks you know what i'm saying you, i can hide this camera real good when i do pranks the other camera um actually i'm gonna show y'all the other camera lens kind of uh like 
bro like i dropped it on his face and it broke so y'all see this right this camera is big like i can't fit it in my pocket and the reason why it broke is because when i cut this camera off the eye doesn't go in versus this one this eye goes in like when i cut it off the eyes goes in so my lens won't get i said the eye it's called a lens i'm sorry um when i cut this camera off the lens go in like it's like a flat surface versus this one when i cut this camera off it stays out so if i'm not on it and i just drop it it's gonna ruin the lens but like i said this was a sony a5100 the quality was really good um it's actually it, it literally nothing i didn't i did not like this camera it was it was cool for what it was cool for but this camera is just more like convenient i guess quality over quantity okay quality on youtube is everything because i can make a video on my iphone well this is a 11 pro max so it's kind of cool it's kind of a good camera but I just wouldn't want to record on my phone because of course the camera is going to be a better quality because it's a camera is what it's for versus this this is for like instagram kind of like i can't explain it so for instance i could probably record something on my phone but it won't be as high def as a, if i would have did it on my camera you know what i'm saying it'll be pretty high def you know what i'm saying 1080p but this is hd 1080p hd so i just rather that so like i said i can record something on my phone but i guarantee you if i recorded it on the hd camera it's going to get more views by default because the quality is there people see everything they hear everything mozzy calm down calm down because you running around like a crackhead for real you see everything you hear everything and that's what people like they want to see you they don't want to see darkness they don't want to see not really that good of a lighting because it makes people less interested you feel me it's kind of like watching a bootleg movie think of it like that would you rather watch a movie high definite theater or a bootleg y'all know bootleg bootleg is baby i can't even get into the topic because it's the quality is just not there you know what i mean practice using a free editing software so um like i said um it's software is on your phone you feel me it's free software that you can when i say software i'm basically meaning like video software that you can edit on so um it's editing software on your phone it's editing software on computers laptops so practice using the free editing software so you can kind of get into the swing of you know what i'm saying editing your videos cutting it into smaller clips um you know taking out the less important parts you feel what i'm saying to just get to the point editing is very important if you're not a good editor it's kind of like not good quality too. It's just see what you like. Like, do you like your videos edited animated? Do you like your videos edited just simple? Do you like having like a like a movie kind of vibe when watching your YouTube videos? Like, what do you like? You get what I'm saying? So yes, practice using a free editing software before you start YouTube full time. Figure out a non-copyrighted intro and outro to use. So when I say non-copyrighted, um, it's this thing called copyright, um, where basically if you use it in your content videos that you post on YouTube, that can possibly lead to strikes on your channel. So when I say strikes, basically using other people content like music instrumentals different things like that it's kind of like you know people get paid you know what i'm saying artists out there they get paid for plays they get paid for views they get paid for streams and if you're streaming they whole song in the background of your video they gonna need they big bucks you feel me because it's not your content it's not it's not yours why are you using their stuff you get what i'm saying Yeah, my dog is going to come. You caught. You're nasty. You're nasty. So you can get your coins. Because you do get paid off YouTube eventually. Editing is very hard and time consuming. Making videos is very time consuming. So, you know what I'm saying? When you start getting paid, you don't want anything against your pay. Because, um your video one of your youtube videos can go viral like viral viral and if you're using drake's song in the background you're not going to get any money for it so where's the fun in that you feel me if it don't make money it don't make sense right to my day one supporters 
I had a theme song that was like, what it do, shawty love. Make sure you subscribe. Don't be sure you like, comment, and share. And the instrumental I used behind my singing for my theme song was actually Chang Hang Low. I was doing videos for years using that theme song. In the middle of last year, their label filed, filed a complaint basically saying I'm using their stuff for my content and it's theirs like it's basically their beat and i put my my voice over it copyright and y'all youtube literally copy wrote, wrote everything down to the t of me using that that song and i lost about eight thousand dollars eight thousand dollars just because they filed a complaint years later and the money i made from the videos I've already had up using that song, they actually took the money away, y'all. When I say I was pissed, I was pissed. Yeah, I don't want you guys to end up like me. So try to use something like if y'all know somebody who make beats or it's literally um instrumentals, like uncopyrighted instrumentals on YouTube that you can slap over your instrumental and put your pictures on for your theme song in the beginning and the ending of your videos. I rack up on videos to edit and upload to your channel. So when I say rack up on videos, basically um just do videos in your free time. Then when you rack up on videos, your editing skills gonna get better. You gonna start editing videos so dummy quick. I'm not gonna lie, editing is really hard. So I'm not even finna sit here and act like editing is easy because editing is hard. It's gonna be worth it because you're going to be getting into the swing of things. You're going to be trying to see like how much your editing has improved from the first video you ever uploaded and all that good stuff. So yeah. 10. Upload at least three to four times a week if you can. I don't do that because um, YouTube is not my only stream of income anymore. Um, I, I have a boutique that I run and I make money off of that. So I don't have to solely depend on YouTube anymore. Thank God. You feel me? But um youtube is still a, a source of income though for sure you feel me? you feel what i'm saying like i don't limit it to just my boutique um i try to get the coins when i can but um i've been doing youtube for almost three years now and it's not easy it's not easy coming up with content it's not easy collabing it's not easy um figuring out how you're going to upload it's not easy editing it's very time consuming. Like, it's been times where I had sleepless nights. I'm talking about going to bed at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning while people going to work in school with it. Like, very, very time consuming, okay? Um, and I'm a Virgo, so I'm a perfectionist, guys. Like, I want my shit done to the T. If it ain't perfect, I don't want it. Yeah, when you upload at least three to four times a week and YouTube sees you being consistent, that's when you usually will start getting paid. Um... But I'm not going to lie to y'all. As of right now, YouTube is becoming very saturated. That's another reason why I kind of opened another stream of income for me. Because YouTube is becoming super duper saturated. Too many people is joining. Um, therefore, YouTube is becoming very strict as far as the terms, privacy, like, is, is becoming really strict. Like, if I say one cuss word they might demonetize my stuff the more consistent you upload the more your channel is going to grow because youtube is a very large platform you can have zero subscribers but i, I guarantee you if you upload a video because youtube is so big of a platform you're going to give views whether it's one view five views 10 views 30 views 100 views you're going to get some views simply because youtube is just videos floating floating around ready to be clicked on you get what i'm saying so um the more consistent you post and upload the better your youtube channel is going to grow try to perfect thumbnails um if y'all don't know for those of you who don't know what thumbnails are thumbnails is the cover photo before you click somebody video i'm pretty sure like y'all be seeing people do a lot of like those those are thumbnails so um thumbnails is to just get people um grab people attention kind of like a cover of a book if the cover don't look appealing you're not going to read it right so it's kind of like that same for youtube if your thumbnails don't look appealing you might not get as many views as you could now my situation i don't i don't i don't I try to do thumbnails, you know what I'm saying? I pay people here and there to do my thumbnails for me because I still haven't perfected thumbnails. But 
that's not important you feel me that's not important you know what i'm saying it's a it's a really big step to grow more quicker but it's not needed as of right now like for what y'all trying to do for all the beginners out there you don't have to perfect thumbnails but try to whether it's you just take a picture and you put some words on it that's a start you feel me so um try to perfect thumbnails because that's going to make you a lot of money later on down the line when you really get into youtube more um because like i said it's like a cover of a book if it looks appealing people are going to click it without hesitation so try to perfect thumbnails number 12 stay consistent when y'all when you guys start do not stop you have to be consistent that's very important because youtube is going to see that and they're going to put you in this in this thing called suggestions so y'all know how y'all look at a video and it's somebody else video like on the side of it or under it that you can click that's kind of similar to it but probably don't even got nothing to do with who you just watched yes the more consistent you be the more youtube is going to put you out there the more youtube is going to want to pay you quicker the more brand deals you're going to get if you just stay consistent i mean don't stop keep going no matter how tired you get just keep going because the moment you stop it's going to be hard to start back up 13 and this is very important don't focus on the money just yet a lot of people want to do youtube just for the money but let me tell you something a lot of us that started off on youtube we didn't even know we can make money off youtube i didn't know i could make money off youtube till probably 2018 late late 2018 is when i was like oh like i really can get paid hella off youtube you absolutely can but starting out it don't matter how many videos you post no matter how many times you go viral youtube is not going to pay you yet so don't be in a rush don't be in a rush seriously because that's what that's where people mess up at like if y'all just so focused on the money you're not gonna want to do it if you're not getting paid at that point like if you're not getting paid you're not going to want to do it the umph is not going to be there you will get paid later i didn't even start getting paid till two years i started doing youtube so imagine me busting my ass sleepless nights money i'm investing in a camera and everything and i'm not getting it back till two years later so yes and you know what i'm saying some people sooner you feel what i'm saying because when i started doing youtube i didn't really take it serious till like the second year so that's probably why i didn't get paid till two years later but y'all could be different y'all can be different so youtube i'm letting y'all know right now off the strength youtube is not going to start paying you tomorrow next month the month after next or the month after next or the year after next it's all about you being consistent because if you see like okay i'm not getting paid your performance is going to show that you're not getting paid so you're slowing down on things you get what i'm saying so don't be so money hungry don't focus on the money fully do it because it's something you want to do the reason why i started doing youtube like i said i didn't even know i could make so much money off youtube but i started doing it because i wanted my supporters to see more of me that's why i started doing it if y'all go into mindset like okay yeah i'm gonna get paid if i do these videos it's not gonna last for you i'm telling you right now because like i said i didn't get i didn't start getting paid till the second year i was doing youtube and like i said if y'all just put in the work that year is gonna fly back fly by so fast Y'all gonna be getting paid before y'all know it. But y'all cannot give up. Y'all cannot stop. Y'all cannot slow down because YouTube is going to peep that. And they're going to be like, I don't think we want to pay this person because this person is not being consistent. Why do? Why would we pay this person if they're not being consistent? And I don't even know, if we don't even know if they're going to make a video tomorrow or next week. So, don't focus on the money just yet, okay? Because I'm telling y'all, y'all not going to get paid for a while. I'm telling y'all right now i'm just keeping it a buck 50 with y'all y'all are not going to get paid for a while but don't let that be your main focus do it because you want to do it do it because you love to do it don't do it because of right now do it because of later number 15 don't rush the success it takes time like i said i didn't start getting paid off youtube since two years in don't rush it because if you rush it it's going to show in your performance it's going to show in your videos it's going to show in your thumbnails it's going to show in your attitude your vibe during the videos it's going to show if you just rushing it and just putting something out because you just want to put something out because you know what i'm saying you're just trying to let time go by it's not going to work out for you so like i said in the beginning youtube is easier said than done youtube is just not 
a place you post videos and you get paid. I mean, it is, but it takes effort. It takes time. It takes patience. Patience is a virtue. I'm telling y'all. If y'all just take y'all time, put, like I said, quality over quantity. You don't want to just have 10 videos that's not interesting. It's not going to work out like that. But if you got, you know what I'm saying, every other video is a good ass like, okay like, i liked it, that video like come on with some more you don't want like oh i just saw that video and i don't want to subscribe to this person's channel because they are not interesting to me i don't know what's up with them that shit was trash you don't want that you want people to look at your stuff and be like i like this person's channel like let me subscribe to them like let me become a fan like they really take their time and they really you know what i'm saying take effort in the videos they do they are very entertaining they are very you know what i'm saying creative you don't want just anything on your page because people are gonna see that even when y'all start you know what i'm saying growing a fan base your fan base gonna see that and they're gonna be like oh i just i think i just like that one video they did because i don't like the rest of them you feel what i'm saying you want to build a legacy you want to build a name for yourself you don't want to just put shit out because it's going to show last but not least find people to collab with to keep growing collaboration and, and youtube will even tell y'all collaboration is the number one quickest way to grow on youtube so that's why y'all see a lot of these youtubers you know what i'm saying moving the house together no, I, I i don't i i'm sorry i i never been that generous i don't think i can just move in with a couple like a bunch of people that i don't know like that Nah, I'd rather just link up with y'all when y'all in town. I'd rather go to y'all house whenever y'all want to do a video. I can't just, that ain't me, but collabing is the number one importance on YouTube to grow quicker on YouTube. That's the number one utmost important thing. Collaborate people with less subscribers than you. It don't matter because you know why? Two is always better than one. Collaborating is very, very important. It's the number one way to grow quicker on YouTube. All right, y'all, that really completes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Really hope you guys, you know what I'm saying, really took a lot, really took a lot of notes, you feel me? Because it's very important, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying, speaking from experience. Not even just telling y'all because it's just something I want to say or want to be heard. I is is I know it's a lot of people out there that's really, really desperate to be their own entrepreneur, that's tired of working, that's tired of going to school, I mean college, okay? I don't, don't drop out for YouTube, bitch, okay? Don't do that, I wouldn't recommend that to nobody. There's a lot of people out there with talent, passion, you feel what I'm saying, and they need to be heard, but I promise, promise, promise you, promise, 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 I bet your bottom dollar, if y'all do what I said in this video, for at least six months, y'all subscribers are gonna start boosting up. Y'all views gonna start boosting up. If y'all do everything I said for six months, just six, that's it, half a year. I promise you, you're gonna start seeing results. You're gonna start seeing more people, more interaction, more everything. If y'all just do what I said, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really hope you guys, you know what I'm saying, really took in a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I really hope to see some new YouTubers out there that seen this video. I want y'all to be like, it's been two years your girl is making money your girl is getting views after views because of child the greatest i'm gonna be like period don't play with you okay like comment subscribe peace and blessings do them videos do what i said okay period